So the problem today is the integral of e to the x times cosine of x. What you want to do is integration by parts, meaning that e to the x and cosine of x are going to be different parts. And using this strategy, we will solve them and get a final answer. So the best way to do this is to make a table with one part being doing the derivative, a d, seen by that, another part will be the integral. So what we want to do is get it so that e to the x, which won't really change, so we'll put that on the integral side, because the integral is a little bit harder, and then cosine of x, because we want to drive the cosine of x as many times as we need to to get back to its original equation, cosine of x. So if we drive it one time, it's negative sine. This is still e to the x, the integral of e to the x to e to the x. And then if we do it one more time, it's negative cosine of x. So now we have the same thing here. So what you do is it's a positive, negative, positive is part of the strategy. And you want to multiply these two together and these two. And then these two will be the integral. Just in that equation. Just like that equation. So because what we're really doing here is this. So it's u v minus the integral of du v. So this is u, this is v, and then this is u and v again, and this is du and v. Make sense? So we're just doing this, but in a table format. So applying this to a problem, we will have cosine x times e to the x. This is a negative, but it's also a negative here, so this is going to be plus a sine of x times e to the x. And then this is positive, this is negative, so we're going to do a minus, just like in our equation, minus the integral of these two things. Okay? So if we simplify a little bit here, we have the integral of e to the x cosine x is equal to e to the x times cosine of x plus a sine of x minus our integral. So if you notice we have this and this and the same it's really the same thing here. So if we just add this over to the other side, treating it like an equation, we'll have basically two of our equations is equal to the rest. So e to the x cosine of x plus sine of x. And then, just to get back to original equation way up here, we just divide by 2. So the integral of e to the x cosine x is equal to e to the x times cosine of x plus sine of x all over 2 from here, plus our constant of c. Alright, that's it.